Hi everyone, my name is Jose Mendoza and I'm excited to announce that in the fall I'll be offering an advanced topics course on the philosophy of race. The course itself is going to be divided up into three units. The first unit is going to look at the metaphysics of race and for those of you who aren't as familiar with the philosophical jargon, that just means we're going to look into whether or not race is real and what the implications are of the answer that we give. So for example, if you come to believe that race is not real, well then what should we do about it? There's one position called racial eliminativism, which says that if race is not real, and if race has just been this pernicious category, then let's stop talking about it. Let's just get rid of that category, if it's not real and it's been pernicious. Other folks, however, think that race is real, but if it is real, then what kind of a thing is it? One position you can take, which is called racial naturalism, says that race is a biological kind, that science can actually show that the human species can be subdivided into these different groups that we have come to call races. There's another position, however, that says, well, race is not scientifically or biologically real, but it is real in this social sense. This is a social constructivist position. But if it is a social construction, what kind of social construction is it? What criteria should we use? How many races are there? I mean, it, it could potentially be an infinite number of races. We could cut it up in all kinds of different ways. Look at this group of people, for example. All of these folks in the United States count as members of the Latinx community. The Latinx community in the United States is often thought of as a race. Are all of these folks members of the same race? Yes, no, maybe. If they're not members of the same race, then how should they identify? And this brings us to the second unit of the course. In the second unit of the course, we're gonna talk about racial identity. How should we define ourselves racially? And by we, I don't just mean how I want to define myself and how you want to define yourself, but how the way I categorize you or the way you categorize me comes to have an effect on my racial identity. And this brings us to another question. How important is our racial identity to our larger identity? And how does our racial identity work with our other identities, such as class, ethnicity, gender, and citizenship? And more importantly, can we show solidarity across racial lines? or across class lines? Or how do these things work together in social movements? This brings us to the third and final unit of the course, which is the moral and political philosophy of race. In this unit of the course, we're gonna look at the normative implications, the normative conclusions that we can draw from the metaphysics, the ontology, but more importantly, from the history of race relations in this country. We're gonna look at things like racial oppression, racial domination, and racial discrimination. How do we define these things? How do we then combat these things? What can we do about them? And perhaps more importantly, what does justice demand that we do about these things? So if these questions interest you, excite you, please join me in the fall. I'd really look forward to thinking about these things with you. Thank you very much.